Got you a graduation gift. Are you ready? Mom, don't give it to me tomorrow. Super good. That's why I cannot wait for tomorrow. Here it is. Graduation gift. Super good. Let's top the phone stand. <laughs> it's super good. I have. No. No. What? Who painted it? I don't even know what's for. It's for your phone. No, but like, what is the use case? For your phone. No, but what is the use case? When do you use it? For your phone. When do you use it for your phone? When do I use it? Oh, to watch the balloon anime. <laughs> This, but I have no storage on my phone. How many gigs are in it? Not a lot. Isn't it 128? Sure, I don't know, sure. Oh, yeah, it's 64. I think it's 128. I'm buying a new laptop. Thanks for the old laptop. Episodes and going. We already know the most consistent vlogger out there. Not really, but the most consistent vlogger that gets no views out there. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Rapid. But I'm honestly not even doing this for anyone else but myself. Because I feel like. Honestly, I'm not even gonna record. I mean, not record. Watch. I'm not gonna watch back at these clips. Most likely, at least not in the short term. But sometimes I do like to watch certain clips of that, like like those Japan vlogs I did. Fucking, I watch. Uh, it's nice to look back on, cause honestly, if I didn't record that shit, I would have probably like forgot a lot about it. You know what I'm saying? Like my memory is quite shit. But thankfully, my full memory is not. It's literally permanent, bruh. I upload it on the web, I'm sure YouTube might get taken one down one day, but I have backups on backups, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that shit won't fail me. <laughs> Hopefully, I know Jason or whatever. But, you know, I have so much clips I look back on. I just re I feel like I'm actually reliving the moment. Whereas, like, through pictures and stuff, I also relive it, but, like, sounds and visuals, like, I fucking relive it more. Now, I feel like I'm really the type that really misses something way more once it's over. And, I mean, it could be, like, interpreted as a bad way, but it could be good and bad. I don't know. But, I guess, it, I guess it was because when I was in Japan, right, I guess 
lot of the trip, I was actually feeling like kind of sick. Not gonna lie, I, I had a fucking cold for like three, four days. Like I had stubby nose. I had to like, I had to buy like kind of. I was like, what the fuck, man? I even fucking wore a mask on a fucking ten-hour flight just so I could avoid fucking getting sick. Not even because of COVID, just like the flu or whatever, right? Because I fucking waited so long for this fucking trip. I didn't want to get sick. I fucking got sick, bro. And then on the flight back, I didn't, I was like, fuck it, I'm not wearing a mask. I didn't get fucking sick. Not even a fucking cold. Like, what the fucking bullshit is that, man? It's like, oh, fuck, man. But it is what it is, man. I tried my best, man. Like, I wore my mask. I fucking hand sanitized my hand. Every fucking thing on the flight. I still fucking got sick, man. Whatever. I guess lucky, unlucky, man. Unlucky, man. But now that I'm looking back at my trip, I actually quite miss it. Now, at least, just to like from this perspective, I quite miss. But not gonna lie, when I was actually in Japan, I didn't really felt. I mean, I felt a little bit, but like I felt a little bit that I would miss this because I'm on vacation. I don't have to worry about shit. But I had a feeling that I I was ready to go back. Right? I was ready to. I'm not sure if it's because like my career is not stable or whatnot. I, I wanted to go back. I wanted to like get the ball rolling again. I was kind of feeling shitty in terms of like like my face and shit. I was like breaking out way more. Um, what I was like, I wasn't working out, so I was feeling like fat and I was eating like a lot, which is not really that good. Maybe I should. I don't even know if I regret honestly. So if I didn't eat as much, I wouldn't have experienced as much. But by eating more, I'll feel more shitty on the trip. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you need to find a fine balance of that shit. Maybe the fine balance is just working out. But again, if you work out during a trip, you're wasting precious time, right? Uh, where are you gonna be spending like actually traveling? Not traveling, actually exploring. Maybe maybe a quick workout. I'm saying because. Honestly, I think when we got up, we were quite fucking lazy. We were like just waiting, a lot, a lot of downtime. You know what I'm saying? Like we could have sped up that process. Like maybe, like maybe even fit in like a. Uh, I guess our hotel didn't have a gym, so I guess we could have really worked out. Anyways, go for a jog. I don't really see many people running out. Actually, I guess it's like a city. No need to run. Out. Of what I'm gonna say, yeah, quite miss the trip now. It's just the idea, it's just looking back, the idea of like, I mean, right now, currently, I'm kind of content with Vancouver right now, like, staying, like, because I already traveled recently, right? Like, I don't need to go anywhere much, I can stay here for a bit longer, but whatever. Um, but yeah, like. It's kind of cool now that I'm looking back. Like, it was cool when I was there, right? Like, the first night. Now, I think, the, I don't know, I, don't, I guess it was the most new at the first night there. So, in some sense, it peaked at the first night. I was like, holy shit. Even though, like, we landed, got off the train station, I, I don't even know, like, uh, like, in the Ginza area, it's kind of quite dead, right? I was still so fucking amazed by all the lights and shit. Um. Uh, I think I was most amazed on the first night, honestly. Cause like, I kinda got used to it as the nights went by. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was a good trip, man. Like, I guess when you're look, I guess when you're looking back on memories, I feel like you memorize, it's like very like, you're very like f narrowed down on what you want to memorize. And what you want to memorize sometimes is usually the good parts, I'd assume. At least, I guess that's more so how I... I I'll definitely remember the not-so-good times, for sure. But, like, in terms of like vacations, I feel like I memorized... I kind of focus more on the good things. Um, just, like, the overall vibe, you know what I'm saying? Not, not like, specific things, just the overall vibe of the trip. I just condense it onto one thought, like good bad i think that's pretty much it like good bad or, or like some variety like on the scale of good to bad like some sort of indicator um and you know compared to like the other trip that i had i guess it was i guess it was this year right yeah no i know last year because it was 
December 2022, where I went to Vegas for a couple of days. I think that was on the more mid side, man. And I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's good either. Like, ah, uh, it's like so so. Because Vegas, I feel like it's. I've been there so much, man. Like, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I did leave the country, but. You know, I guess it does hit different when you're like traveling with a friend. Uh, not not a friend, but friends or your significant other. Um, or a combination of both, I guess. I don't know. But I guess it is different than traveling with family because it's just like the whole vibe is different and whatnot. And yeah, but I feel like just Vegas, just the idea. I just like, even if I did go to Vegas with like friends or significant other, unless I feel like the only thing that would make it maybe a different experience is if there was more emphasis on the nightlife because I didn't really do any nightlife stuff with my parents because apparently you know western society is not necessarily that weird to go clubbing with your parents but I'm not a clubber to begin with but I I, I think it would be kind of cool to experience clubbing in Vegas because that's I guess what's kind of cool or I guess I don't know like the nightlife but I never experienced it um, uh, we, we wanted to go clubbing in um, Japan as well, but like for the first couple of days, I was fucking sick. I was feeling like shit, and and then our schedule got busy, right? Like the like the time we could have had at night, we just went home early to rest because I guess we were both kind of tired too. And at the end of the trip, I think Eunice was a little bit sick as well. Um, yeah, I'm probably gave her the cold. <laughs> My bad. But so we we could. That was not an option for us either. Because at the end of that night, for both of us, we were like quite tired. There ain't no way it was happening, man. Like we could have the very last night, I guess, but we would have fucking died on the flight back. Um, which would have not been fun. But I don't know. That would. I don't know. Actually, I was still kind of like sickish. Actually, I don't even know. Yeah, I think at the end of the trip, maybe it was just like shit getting from my mind. But because she was starting to feel sick, I was kind of like, oh shit, man, am I gonna get sick again? And I was starting to feeling some shit too. But yeah, man. Like, yeah. Honestly, ready for next vacation, but in. Not, 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 obviously not this month, like, I'm ready for, like, a smaller trip, I guess. I just, just the idea of me being able to lock, unlock going to trips alone is quite interesting. It feels like I'm unleashing a new chapter in my life, honestly, just, like, this idea. Oh, because once I feel like once you've traveled once without your family, like, legitly, like, not, like, road trips or whatever, fuck, like, actually buy a plane, that's why... I, to finance like an actual trip I feel like I've unlocked it in a sense where like I've done it once I came then it was successful I'm yeah and it was quite far right Asia or whatever and then we can like do more shit then, you know what I'm saying and once you've gotten like the first pass you've unlocked it pretty much you've fucking once you get like a skin right you can keep using okay I don't fucking you know that was a terrible analogy but yeah ready for some smaller trips for this year um maybe i'm thinking we're thinking la uh for winter just to escape and from from my perspective to escape the cold here in Vancouver. and because it's relatively cheap to fly to la versus other places um maybe a, a road trip uh, for the summertime just my birthday or some shit just like one one two nighter situation this is small small thing like to portland or something, I don't know, something nearby right um i don't know still thinking about it. or maybe i had thought of going to edmonton but apparently there's not much to do in edmonton but the flights are quite cheap but i don't know if it's worth it uh um what else yeah what are some places I would like to travel that are like feasible in that short? Not, not really feasible. I guess everywhere is technically feasible. Places 
places I like to travel. Um, I guess some of the places I've been, some places I haven't been, I would list some as like Dubai, Singapore. I don't think I've been to Montreal, but I might have. Um, Dubai. Korea? Korea, Korea. Those four places, I guess. Uh, but relatively, the place that I've been that would be down to go back again with like Hawaii. I'll list Japan too, but I, that's probably on the lower end of my list because I just literally keep that. Um, Taiwan, Hong Kong, LA, I'm kind of down for too. Toronto, where else? I don't know, I'm just, just like, I'm just thinking like life for me has changed, like my perspective has changed. Before it was like, I don't even know. Now I feel like with unlocking vacations, you have something to look forward to in life in some sense. I, I guess, yeah, sure. You're like, when you're saving up for a mortgage and some shit, you're saving up for it, you're paying for it. But in most cases, you're still, you're already living there, right? So you don't really, you're not really experiencing anything new. You know what I'm saying? Like the experience is still the same. It's just like, I guess the mental stress on the toll on your, you just, I have to pay it and shit. It's not a lesson or whatnot. And you can focus on other things. But in terms of vacations, you're literally physically relocating yourself into a new environment, new experiences. And that to me is like quite interesting. Like, and even though like, I'm not sure if I'm built for like long-term travel. I don't feel like I am built for long-term travel. Like anything over a month, I feel like it's too bit too much for me like honestly like anything more than a month at once unless maybe it's if you're like if i'm like hopping from city to city or like changing countries like really like at a, i we're relatively rapid pace i can't imagine me like stay at one city just one place for more than a month man that would just feel like that would just feel like me being in vancouver for like a month at that point like because I don't know. I just feel like I'm just like literally living there at that point. Not so like vacation mode. Whereas like I'm just living mode, you know, like resident mode, like temporary short term resident mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like obviously you have to save up and shit. But in terms of like what you, what I want to spend my money on, non saving wise, is fucking traveling now, man. Like, that being said, like, ah, yeah, some of the materialistic shit is kind of tempting, you know, that new phone, <laughs> designer shit, uh, you know, catching Tracy when he was trans, like, where include uh, buying some fancy clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, expensive meal, oh, I guess expensive meal is experience, but like, spending on food, like, watching shows, and like, all that shit in Vancouver that you can do, but I don't know, just find balance, man, like, Shit! Yeah, traveling is fun, man. It's like, it gives me something to work, makes me want to work harder. Cause I'm like, oh shit, I need to work harder so I can like, I guess my mind says like, oh shit, I need to work harder. So I need to, so I can like, like for me at least right now, like keep this job, like get a full-time offer. So I can like keep going on these vacations, you know what I'm saying? Like if I don't have money, if I don't have a fucking job, I don't have money, I can't go on vacations, I, I'm like stressed, I'm just stuck at home trying to find jobs, right? Because I'm not gonna travel when I have no job, like, what? Like, I'm gonna pay for stuff, like, yeah, man, it's just traveling. I feel like I've unlocked some shit, man, I feel like my life is changing. Yeah, man, like, traveling is fun, man. At least, I think, in my, since I'm not really making, not making much right now you know what i'm saying like so i think for me right now i think i like it. at this current income i guess it will be cool i'm not saying i can do this but i say i think it'll be fair it'll be reasonable it'll be cool for me to do like one relatively longer trip like something i'd say by longer would be like over a week and um a shorter trip so shorter than a week uh a year so like two trips a year i feel like 
that is hopefully manageable. But yeah, that's, that's what I've been on my thoughts right now. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm not even sure if I'm recording, but I am. So yeah, see you.